Howard W. Cannon Aviation Museum is located in Macoran International Airport. Headed today to the link, to the high roller in link, L-I-N-Q. It's like an observatory, Ferris, like a Ferris wheel. Dropping the key in here. Payless. Delta Airlines, 11.59 on time. In terminal 3, these are all the airlines in here. And I'm in Terminal 3. So I need to go to Terminal 1. Allegiant American Delta Southwest Spirit. Headed now to Atlanta Airport. And we're now in Terminal 1, Delta Airlines. Flight is 11.59 p.m. About to board about 30 minutes. About to check in my bag. I'm headed to the security. And since my gate is D34, I have to go to the left side. All other letters go to the right. 
Howard W. Cannon Aviation Museum is located in Macoran International Airport. Visitors can observe the history of commercial and general aviation in Southern Nevada, from the first flight in 1920 through the introduction of jets. The museum's main exhibit is located above baggage claim with additional exhibits in ticketing at the A, B, C, and D gates, Terminal 2, North Las Vegas Air Terminal, and the general and corporate aviation terminal operated by Signature Flight Support. There is also an exhibit displayed at the Henderson Executive Airport. Aviation buffs can park south of the airport on Sunset Road and tune their FM radios to 88.5 to follow the conversations between the pilots and flight controllers during takeoffs and landings. Las Vegas has never been the kind of community to let a new idea lie dormant. Within months of the first airplane flight to the area, Clark County had its first airfield, named Anderson Field for the landowners. Its opening on Thanksgiving Day 1920 was a celebration in aviation. Renowned flyers of the area like Clarence Prest and Emery Rogers took part in the fly-in. The field was designed by Robert Hostler. As an Army pilot, Hausler had flown over Las Vegas in 1918 and route from Los Angeles to Salt Lake City while scouting new airmail routes. Hausler designed the airport to Army service and aero club in Southern California standards and strongly advocated establishing a local airmail route. The fields was located about where the Sahara Hotel Band Casino parking lot is today at the corner of Sahara and Paradise. It was operated by Hostler, who leased the land until 1925. In those first years, both Clarence Prest and Emery Rogers returned to Las Vegas to try to start the aviation businesses. Neither was successful. Walter Varney, who later founded Varney Air in Northern Nevada, started the flying school at Anderson Field in 1923, but it too failed. The first flights brought out the town and put Las Vegas and Clark County on the commercial airline map. Clark County has continued to be served by commercial air transportation ever since. So after the security, there's this tram headed to the D gates. Please stand clear of the tram doors. This tram is going to the D gate. Please hold on to a post or handrail. Say goodbye to Las Vegas. Bye for now. See you next time for the third time. Headed to Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, 45 what? Oh. Yep. Oh, oh, so we're able to ride. Yeah. yeah. See you to Donna South. I arrived here in Memphis. Let me see. Memphis. I'm back now here to Memphis. Headed to Greenville, Mississippi.
I'm a good one. 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 I'm a good one